hey guys welcome to my channel my name is felicia just in case you're new here i create content around fashion lifestyle saying and diys so if you're interested in this kind of content which i'm sure you are because you clicked on the video please do well to click on that subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to watch this video in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to draft a sleeve pattern this sleeve pattern is a basic sleeve pattern it's going to be used to build up on different kinds of sleeves so i'm going to be showing you the very foundation of making sleeves okay if you're a beginner you will find this really really useful because a lot of clothes you will have to make will require a sleeve and for the og dressmakers you might want to see how i go about doing mine to see if there's anything different or if you can pick a thing or two from my method so let's get on with this tutorial Please do well to continue watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to show me that you liked it. So for this tutorial, you need these following measurements, your sleeve measurements, the sleeve circumference and your armhole. And I have my different sleeve lengths, short elbow length, three quarter length and long sleeve length, as well as the corresponding circumferences of each length and then my armhole measurement. Also, the set, another set of measurements you need is the calculation, which is this one I'm showing you right now. The armhole divided by 3 minus 1.5 for the depth and armhole divided by 2 minus 1.5 for the width. So I'm just applying my armhole um, measurements to get the calculation for my depth. My depth, which is 6 inches and my width, which is 9.5 inches. So feel free to use your correct armhole measurements to get your depth and width of your sleeve curve. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to apply the depth measurement which is 6 inches. So from the top of the paper I'm marking my 6 inches. Just going to connect that those points together to have a straight line and on this line i'm going to be applying my width measurement which is 9.5 inches so i mark my 9.5 inches on this depth line for the width so from that point of my 9.5 i'm going to be connecting it to the point tippy point of my paper just at that point so i'm going to have a diagonal line to that point once I have done this line, I am going to divide this line into four equal parts. So first, I'm going to divide this line into two. So next thing I'm going to do is to determine the midpoint of these two sections of my line. I'm just going to go ahead and fold my tape again to get that midpoint. Now, once I'm done sectioning this line into four equal parts, I'm going to go down half inch from this first line here I'm pointing at. I'm going to mark half inch below that line. And then on the first line, I am going to go up by half inch. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is from that edge of the paper, go out by half inch on the top. Once I have marked this point, I'm going to use my pattern master now to connect all the points. So from the half inch at the top of the paper to the half inch on the first division through the middle and then I'm going to just connect them with the curve. And then I'm going to flip my curve ruler and then connect from the midpoint through the half inch I have marked on the lower part of the division to the point on the end of my sleeve. Oh. 
Once I'm done with this line, I have my armhole curve. The next thing I'm going to do is to confirm this curve to make sure that it is the same as my armhole, which it should be. Yeah, so I'm going to check it and as you can see already I have 11 inches on the tape and that's times 2 which is my armhole measurement which is 22. So the next thing I'm going to do is to apply my sleeve length. So I'm going to apply all the length measurements I have on the length of this paper and then on those lengths I'm going to be applying the circumferences just to get a very fitted sleeve. So from the top of my paper I'm marking my short sleeve length which is 10 inches the elbow length which is 14 inches the three quarter length which is 20 inches and then my long sleeve length which is 24. feel free to fill in your different length measurements as i am doing i'm marking two points just so i can get a straight line to rule on So I'm connecting those points now so that I can start applying my circumference measurements on the lines. So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide my circumference measurement by 2. For my short length, which I have I have 15 inches and I've divided by that by 2 and I apply 7.5 inches. On my elbow length, I have 14 inches divided by 2, which is 7 inches is what I'm applying on the line. And then my elbow length, um, my elbow circumference is 12 inches and I'm applying 6 inches on the line elbow line and then my long sleeve circumference is 10 inches and i'm applying five inches on that line so now the next thing i'm going to do is to connect the point so from the the end of my armhole depth i'm going to use a the curvy part of my pattern master to connect the points to my short sleeve length just like this i'm going to continue curving it i'm going to use a straight end to you know connect the other points to down my short sleeve length all the way to the end of my sleeve. Another thing I like to do is to just fine tune this line so that it's a straight line from my short sleeve length. So this one I'm doing, fine tuning the line to just make it straight. And we are done with the sleeve pattern. Feel free to at this point add your hemming allowance if you like to, but I like to do every other thing on my fabric when I'm cutting. So I'm just going to cut out this pattern and we are done. So guys, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Pretty simple, right? Please do well to leave me questions or suggestions down below of the videos you want to see on the channel. I'll be happy to film them. I'll see you guys in another video, but until then, remain fabulous as always, okay? Bye!